The Bitcoin rainbow chart is telling us every time we've had a bull run after the halving is exactly what happens to the price action in Bitcoin, right? So we're coming up to a halving next year, March. So between now and next year, March is probably the best time you could accumulate as much Bitcoin, as much Ethereum, as much crypto altcoins as absolutely possible. Okay, during this time till then, at that point, you're going to want to just hold and ride the wave. You now, you, you're out at ocean, in the ocean, you're getting ready to take a wave. You've been prepping, getting your mindset ready, and now the wave is coming and you're jumping onto the board. And that at that point, you would just literally surf the wave. And when the wave dies out, you take your profits, you go to shore, you meet your girlfriend, you have some lunch. You enjoy, you look out at the ocean, you said, that was a great day. Okay, that's what is going to happen in your crypto chart. And um, performing here, by the end of 2025, the rainbow chart is actually predicting that Bitcoin could be somewhere up at the 450k level mark. And the Ethereum chart could be somewhere up at the 100k mark. Let's go and watch out, watch this video. And let's go and find out exactly what's going on. And we'll see you. How's it going? What's up? What's happening there? Blessed, beautiful souls. Welcome to the Crypto Bliss Show. Thank you for being here with me on the channel. I really appreciate every single one of you beautiful souls. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you quite a substantial amount of information around Bitcoin, where we're at, a little bit of Ethereum, and we're going to have a look at some of the charts again. And uh, I'm going to be talking about different Bitcoin from a different angle other than this perspective. Because right now, I do think that we're at a very, very pinnacle point and Bitcoin is in danger if it breaks a certain level. But altcoins are in way more danger than Bitcoin right now. And is now the time to sell your altcoins? I don't recommend that. Um, no financial advice here, of course. I would wait for some sort of bounce because we've had a very steep fall. RSIs are oversold, etc. So if you guys want to watch this video right till the very end to find out exactly what happens in your trading portfolio and what to potentially look out for and what to do here, then make sure to watch right till the very end of this video. Guys, let's jump straight into my crypto bubbles. So I've been designing the Bliss bubbles. So right now, this is my chart of bubbles that I, this is kind of what my portfolio either looks like or I'm wanting to add to certain positions in this portfolio. So I don't have everything that I, that I, that I trade in here. I do believe that there are some missing, but I am still, it's a work in progress in other words. So if you guys want to come over and, uh, and, and you want the link to this here, I'm happy to share that with you guys. Of course, uh, let me know if you would like it down in the comments below and I will of course share it with the community. But right now I just want to show you that the B, the Binance BUSDC pair um, on Binance actually collapsed right down to $57, $58 here. Uh, so it collapsed down and immediately pulled back up. So that's a heavy, heavy fall on, on that one there. Now, guys, let's go and have a quick squiz at the incredible altcoin season index. Now, before I get on to the altcoin season index, what I'm going to show you, because on my screen, you just you can't see it nicely because I've got black on black on black unfortunately. So I've got to change that up. I will do that. But basically, you can see right now we're in the 10 in the Bitcoin uh, index. And when this moves all the way over, we're in an altcoin season index. Okay, so I want to go and show you what it looks like in a color format. Okay, so this is basically what it is, the section here. And um, right now it's sitting at 10, which is saying that it's Bitcoin index. And that's exactly why your um, Bitcoin dominance has been absolutely ripping to the upside here. And I just want to go and show you something on the Bitcoin dominance because you can see there my green horizontal. We're breaking that right now. Guys, On if I have to go and take this can, uh, this up to the monthly time frame, okay, look at that right now. Even though the monthly is saying that the Bitcoin dominance is a little bit oversold. Yeah, look at this. W pattern formation, breakout currently. Generally, that would give us a very, very strong target of what? If we had to break that dominance, look at that purple box up there that I drew for you guys. So do I believe that Bitcoin dominance is going to go up? I, I actually, considering where we're at now, yes, we can we can fly a little bit here um, and essentially sell your BTC and buy else. So 
right now, I'm not saying that it's going to drop just straight down, but essentially we're here. So is it the best time to sell your alts? No, because it's sell your BTC and buy alts time. Okay, but I would say let this rally up a little bit more, which means that essentially you should rather be selling your, your alts into BTC and then get your BTC higher and then take the trade um, and buy your alts back with your BTC. Okay, so now essentially let's go and have a look at this, this altcoin season chart. Now, because we're all the way down here at 10, we've been down here, I mean, we flatlined down at three a little while ago, and we haven't come down to those lows on this chart just yet. Now, the altcoin season is when this is way up here, and this is way on this side. Right now, it's Bitcoin season, okay? So once we break above this zone here, it's neutral, okay? Between 20 and 7, 25 and 75, it is neutral, and then essentially what we we'll would be looking for is a very strong move to the push up to the upside, and that is where you would see then a huge altcoin season pump. Now look at this, altcoin season pump basically told you to get in at this level. So 13th of June, 22nd, then it told you to get out over here, 10th of September. So June to July, July to August, August to September, um, that is three months of altcoin season, guys. And then it went straight back into Bitcoin. It's time to sell your alts back into Bitcoin. Um, so this was that time, this exact time last year. So for me, it's not the best time to sell your alts into Bitcoin, but we are at the all time. We're at very, very extreme lows. If you have a look at this, I don't think we've actually been down here very often. This was the other previous time. Um, that we were down here and that for me is telling us that we are at a pinnacle point where we will probably start selling our Bitcoin into alts. Okay, I want to go and show you two more charts. So wait sure, make sure you wait to, right to the very end of the video so that I can show you those two charts right there. In the meantime, please remember to give the video a smash the thumbs up and of course subscribe to the channel. And if you guys want to trade with me and you want to learn what to do, then make sure to hit that notification bell and hit my Bybit link down there below that can give you up to $30,000 deposit bonus. Now let's come and have a look at the Bitcoin rainbow chart. Now right now it's set for 2025. Um, so that will take us up to kind of the end of there, which is 2026, okay? Beginning of 2026, basically. Now, first halving, second halving, third halving, fourth halving. Have a look at this. Every single time after after the halving, okay, it has completely ripped up, okay, so the halving is in April next year, ripped up, and this rip up wasn't even as, as, as intense as these two, so where we are right now is the halving should then come in when, it should come more or less the 16th uh, of, of March, kind of the 16th to the end of the March, somewhere around that time, right, so if we have to come here and have a look at what these colors on these lines be, the top of the red is maximum bubble territory, okay, um, and then the blue is basically a fire sale between 19,000 and 25,000. So this rainbow chart is already currently predicting that currently we will not go back below the 20k, well, maybe the, the, the previous low, because essentially right now, if we have a look at even where we are today, it is basically telling us that the low currently is between 16,221 and 21,517. Okay, that's where the, the current low range could basically be, and that would be a fire sell in Bitcoin. So it's giving us a buy indication of Bitcoin between 22,304 and 30,000. So Bitcoin is cheap essentially right now. Okay, it's still cheap between 40 and 52,000. Then you huddle between 52. Um, the orange is it a bubble, the uh, darker orange is FOMO intensifies, the, the second last red is sell, seriously sell, okay, and then a maximum bubble territory is pretty much the, the top red, and then you've got Bitcoin price is the black. Now, let us go and have a look at after the halving is what it's saying. Once we reach the halving, we would have definitely, without a doubt, been above the 21,500 level, right? And we would be between 21,500 um, and 28,600. So that's a, about a 7,000 range. Then what it's saying is the potential for us to reach by the end of 2025, okay, is a potential, excuse me, of $456,000 per Bitcoin, okay? That is a potential that we could hit in the at the peak of the next bull cycle. 
I have called 275k before. What do you guys think about 456 down below? Let me know in, your, in the comments down below what your thoughts are down there, please. Now, I want to show you the Ethereum, before I go into the Ethereum chart, in fact, let's look at the Ethereum chart first. The Ethereum rainbow chart is the same chart, but for um, Ethereum, like I just showed you guys. So all the way up here by the end of 2025 or the beginning of 2025, we're basically saying that Ethereum could potentially have a maximum bubble territory of about $98,500, okay, up at the top here. Now that's insane, guys. I just want to show you something here, okay? Because when Ethereum runs to the top side, it breaks out quite hard. It sits on the top of it and pumps up even more than expected. So up here, that peak was 1,385 and that peak was 279. That's a massive bull run outside of the, the rainbow chart right here. Now, we haven't actually considered this as the biggest potential bull run. And for me, I would say that that's probably this little run here before the major run happens. So we're at this very beautiful bottom point. And if you have a look at the bottom here, we just tap down and we pull back up. So even if we tap down to the, the thousand, the thousand-y kind of level again, that is okay. This is, a, this is the thousand years. Even if we tap down to that level again, it's okay, guys. If you're going to buy Ethereum at $1,000 per Ethereum and you end up selling it by the end of 2025 at $100,000, you've literally 1,000 extra money. Okay, with Ethereum on its own. That's fucking mad. Okay, the cryptocurrency world map. Now, just bearing in mind that this data was posted on 14th of November 2021, so it's already two years old. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is a whole lot more adopted than what this is right now. Because look where look where crypto is missing from. All of these countries and all of this kind of area here. But now China has legalized, and this is China. So that would come onto the, the map. Um, and I'm pretty confident that quite a few other African countries would be on this map right now. I mean, I came into the space at the beginning of 2021. And yeah, so lots of energy in this chart. Now, the crypto unicorn index is something that I just wanted to share with you guys, because right now this is telling you about altcoins. OK, so at the beginning, when it's down, it was Bitcoin and Ethereum. Then we rallied. We had all of these altcoins come in the bull market. Then we had them all pretty much fade away until down on the bear market, we were left at like eight. Then we had all of them building, building, building during the bear market. Then we had an increase coming up to the bull market. Then we had all of these coins coming into the market. Boom, at the peak of the market, we had all the most amount of coins that we've had. And these were coins with a billion dollar market cap or more. Look at this insaneness, guys. Crypto is growing. If you guys don't think that crypto is growing, you must be smoking something that I'm not, okay? So um, then essentially you had the bear market and then a lot of points started to taper and fall back down um, in terms of a billion dollar market cap. And where we are today is currently, we don't really have that many. We've maybe got about 39 projects that are still holding above a billion dollar, well, actually 40 projects that are busy holding above a $1 billion market cap and have a look at which coins these are right now. And do you think that those are the coins that you should be um, being uh, be getting fudded out by the SEC? Because a lot of this list is on the SEC's list, just by the way. Just want to let you know that. So one of the last charts that I want to share with you is um, daily trending coins. So Bitcoin uh, BNB price chart, boom, dropped quite heavily. Don't worry about that. So let's go and have a quick look at this Bitcoin chart. Now, first of all, Let's talk about Bitcoin and Bitcoin strength. So horizontal support right here, right? Um, now that uh, rainbow chart that I shared with you guys over here basically said that we could essentially come down to plus minus even back down to this kind of level down here. If we did, we would still be somewhat bullish, okay? Because we didn't break the low. But that would be absolutely devilish. Now, I just want to say something to you guys. If we end up coming down back here and... Okay, let me just refresh that chart and make, let's make sure that one's refreshed for us for now as well. Uh, monthly, no, I don't want it on the monthly, I want it on the weekly. Let's get back to the weekly. Okay, give me a second, guys. Thank you for your patience. Okay, so delete that. Um, zoom into our beautiful screen and, oops. Okay, so if we essentially had to come break this upward sloping channel at this horizontal support zone, my purple box. 
okay, we would be in for a cascade, without a doubt, at least down to this level here first, which would be about 17,800, and then maybe this level down here, which would be about 16,200, if that takes place. And that would be at the bottom of the pattern, right? But what I'm going to say to you guys is that don't believe it's going to come down there. I believe we're going to probably bounce off here and find some support on this channel and then grind our way up slowly and make our way back up. That would mean a lot of Bitcoin. That would be very healthy for um, your altcoins, essentially, because then the RSI is also coming down, kind of finding its way back up to make a good pump up on Bitcoin. Then altcoins will follow Bitcoin. That's what they do right now. OK, now let me go and show you something very, very important here. OK. Because on the altcoin or the others um, chart, basically on the weekly time frame. Uh, okay, sorry, I've got to reset this one again. So basically on this chart right here, if we go and have a look at it on the weekly time frame, okay, we can see that we're under the 200. We were rejected once and we were rejected twice and potentially three times that we were rejected, but we're in this downward sloping channel. And we have found upward sloping support right now, as well as the RSI already resetting. Doesn't mean it can't sit on the bottom and make a way up while altcoins sit and consolidate. But as you can see, my two circles here, yeah, we're busy creating a double bottom at the moment, which means that strength will come back in altcoins. And essentially, if we end up bouncing from this zone, being rejected from there and then hopefully finding support and then making a breakout and then pump up. That would be a nice, beautiful, slow grind back up there above the potential of the 200. And look how that 200 is going to essentially play out. OK, now that means that we're going to be under the 200 for a very long time. But because we've got a double bottom, that is very, very healthy. And if we ended up coming back up here and even doing something like this, we would then be creating a W pattern on this time frame for the others, which would play into our RSI being very overbought, I mean, oversold right now, right? Wouldn't that tell us that actually we're being fighted out of our coins and people like um, Lizard Man, uh, what's his name? Uh, the guy that made the, all the money, the billions from the, the collapse, uh, George Soros. Exactly. Like he's going to come in and he's going to buy all of your cryptos that were banned. OK, and he's going to buy more of your Bitcoin if you sell it to him at these low levels. RSIs are oversold. Why would you want to sell any of this to them? OK, don't do that. Don't miss out on your generational opportunity right now to become part of the elite and take control and freedom of your own beautiful life. Now, even though we're falling below the 200 right now on the, the dollar, we could have a wick down and we could pull back up straight up above there during this week. We could still close one candle and then next week pump up. So just be patient right now and continue to watch the charts. Not every day hogging the screen watching the charts, but just make sure to watch it. Okay. Thanks for being here. You blessed, beautiful souls. And I really do appreciate every single one of you. That is the level that we need to get up above on the Bitcoin price right now. Okay. And that will essentially give us an opportunity of getting out of this little range and pushing up. Thanks for being here. Remember to like, subscribe, share this content wherever you find it valuable. Thank you.